Yo, it's me. It's me. It's Sai Zanzi. I love this guy. Sai Zanzi is making a name for himself. He's really killing it out there. Let's do something fun. I've been yelling at people I all know. night. I just had a drink, so it'd be you. You want to do the phase rug house yes, tour? Please. Yes, I love this. I hope other people like it. I don't know about that. Do people know who phase rug is? Okay, Pr press, press one in the one. chat if you're interested in seeing a phase rug house tour. That's unbelievable. Well, listen, they're going to like it no matter what. I'm not worried about that. I just want to know if people know who this is because that makes it even more enjoyable. Press one. If you know who Faze Rug is, because eh? I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> Some of you game. A lot of you game. You know, gaming and listening to podcast people go hand in hand. Look, they all know him. Oh, you know him. Look at, well, they're going to say it because they think they want it. They lie to me. They lie. All right, we're going to do it. Give it some time. If I ever go on the H. Oh, that's Nerd City. Why was I making fun of him? Give it some time. If I ever go on the H3 podcast, I'll ask, have you ever thought of starting a second <laughs> clothing company called Teddy Mama? All right. Even Shout out to Nerd City. from now. Nerd City. I uh, think I scared him on that last show. You did? Well, I don't know because Nerd City doesn't. I always think he's going to start hating us, but then he seems to oh. still like oh, us. Oh, trust so. me. It's coming. I it's love that come. guy. Believe me, the only reason he's around right now is probably doing research to try to see if I'm someone he needs <laughs> to take I'm down. So really? Oh, yeah, it's 100%. But he seems very angelic well, and trust sweet. trust me, Nerd City will try to take me down. <laughs> then I'll kill him. Uh, Nerd City is here. Shout out to Nerd City. You should watch Nerd City's takedowns. Skip. Oh, wait, I'm not going to say it. But um, watch Nerd City's takedowns. He's like me if I cared about people not wanting to kill me. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Nerd City does Red Bar style takedowns, but then he also makes sure that he you does know, all the research. Well, let's no just say stuff he up. doesn't scream the N word during <laughs> it or say that he doesn't like the wife of the guy he's taken down because she's black. <laughs> so they give him more leeway. I, you know, um, you know, uh, he's just a more decent person. Exactly. But he hates Jake Paul. I love all of his videos. Or he doesn't. If you ask Nerd City, do you hate Jake Paul? He would say. A respectful oh, I don't answer. Hate, I don't hate uh, Jake Paul at all. I'm just trying to, you know, I just want to. Here at Red Bar, we hate, we want dead. We, uh, you know, we're making stuff up to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He uh, rules. He's got great stuff. And uh, he does it in a uh, cool format that you've never seen before. You know, these other people. I'd love to talk to Nerd City once in a while. But you talk to him, he only allows you me to talk to him twice, and then he stops. Well, he's busy. What do you think he he's has very all busy. day for But questions? I'd like to talk to Nerd City, because how does he feel about, you know, these other YouTubers get on there with a stupid fucking handy cam, you know, and they just throw it around. Or they just do a voiceover. <laughs> this guy's got lighting. He's got editing. He's putting in a lot of work. I always wanted to know how he felt about the other YouTubers who do absolutely nothing they're sitting around. They don't even wipe the schmutz off their uh, stupid uh, Sony GS725. You know, you got Alyssa Violet, the laziest cunt in the world. What do you do, Alyssa Violet, besides get paid by uh, rich businessmen to be a whore? What do you do? And then it's like Alyssa Violet, uh, once a month, will take a video of herself in the mirror getting ready to go out and spread COVID. And she can't even clean the lens. And then, uh, oh, yeah, here's some more money. You know, it, it, they shouldn't even be in the same category. You know, it's a shame. And by the way, your buddy Keemstar Nerd City is insane. Oh, I've been, been watching, watching his story fire vlogs. They rule. First of all, Keemstar, for every five minutes that Keemstar is on the air, he probably lies 70 times. You think so? Uh, oh, yes. I mean, Keemstar is so lost. I love him. I, lo I uh, like I him I really fully. do love him. He started a vlog series on Story <laughs> Fire, a company which I think he owns. I still can't figure this out. And uh, his vlogs are insane. In his latest vlog, he pretends to own a summer home in New York. It turns out it's his family's summer home, and he's pretending that it's his. You know, he's always pretending he's doing construction on things. So this is a funny trick. Keemstar has like a really shitty basement. So instead of like, but he wants to show it to you, 
But he knows you'll be like, man, that's a really shitty basement. I thought you were rich. You know, FaZe Banks has a really nice house. Logan has a nice house. So he has this trick. And let me show you this trick. So he videotapes his basement. And because it looks so shitty, instead of just going, this is my basement, he goes, so yeah, we're redoing the whole basement. This is going to be huge. We're spending a million dollars here. This is all going to be video games. This is going to be a movie. And then you're sitting and watching it going, oh, damn, Keemstar is rich. He's got some big plans for this place instead of watching it and going, oh, man, he lives in a shithole. I thought he had money. Wait, I have it's a, a great for trick. City. It's a great Why trick. Why is Keemstar making his bar so gigantic? He doesn't even know. You think he's watching Keemstar's vlogs? I'm the only person who watches any of this I stuff. Thought, in my mind, Nerd City and Keemstar are like best friends. But this I don't is know what I it is. That. Everyone's <laughs> friends with each other. Nobody watches nothing. <laughs> and nobody knows what the hell's going on. We actually sit there eight hours a day watching <laughs> video much. after video. I've seen everything Keemstar's recorded in uh, the last two years. And I'm telling you, he's insane. What's under that beard? You know what? I've never been mad at him once. His beard? I'll allow him to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> His brutal. No, and, and I like it. I like Keemster, but that doesn't mean he's not lying through his teeth half the time and he's crazy. I mean, he literally is crazy. And I, you say that, you go, this is what people must think about me. They must think I'm like this too with the constant lies, you know, because if you're mean, you must lie, right? You know, there's not a lot of people who uh, openly wish people dead who also don't lie. You would think, oh, they'll kill someone. They must lie. You know, not me. I think lying's worse than killing people. <laughs> Seriously, I'll kill somebody before I tell a big whopper. Okay, I'll tell a couple smalls. I won't even do that. Keemstar, if you're listening to this, don't make the whole bar area behind He's, the It's bar not his bar. Mirror. It's his great uncle's bar. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. Part. Go watch Keemstar's vlogs on Storyfire. The only way you could do this is if you have uh, a very expensive airplay setup. <laughs> okay. Uh, wh oh, we're going to do phase rug. Okay, great. Speaking of YouTube liars, everyone on YouTube is a big liar that needs to be sentenced. Phase Rug is part of this scam con operation called the Phase Clan. And what Phase Clan is, is a couple of fucking nerds who get together and play children's video games for money. And they found out some way to extort billions of dollars from children. And I've never met kids. You know, uh, this is why there were regulations on TV, because you could trick little kids into anything. And this is how I know. If you are a fan of Phase Rug, then you're two. Because only a two-year-old would think this guy is cool. Uh, <laughs> Phase Rug is probably one of the most disgusting sewer rats I've ever seen. He looks like something I'd pull out of my pool filter um, and, and discard. And uh, he's part of the Phase Clan. And I couldn't believe when I first heard his name, Phase Rug. Phase rug. He's Albanian or something. Doesn't matter. But he um he claims he bought a ten million dollar home and he's gonna do his ten million dollar house tour. Well it turns out, and I'll tell you right off the bat, his home cost four point two five million dollars. It was also rented probably by him, and uh, he's lying, just flat out lying to everybody. He also claims the other day that uh some guy who doxed his address was arrested and fined seventy five hundred dollars and is all sorts of trouble. I think that's a flat out lie too. Wait, who said that? Phase Rug. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, just yesterday on Twitter. So Phase Rug was doxed, and instead of Phase Rug doing anything about it, he just blatantly lies and says my doxer was arrested. So if you're ever thinking about doxing, you know, don't because my doxer was just arrested. Is that show even me illegal? the proof. It's not even illegal. So show me the proof. He's a straight and these YouTubers are so used to straight up lying that they don't even know what a lie is anymore. Him, Tana Mongo. Uh, hey, can you go get me an Aleve? Absolutely. All right. We're going to show you his house tour. And this is so great. Someone says, I used to see him in person once upon a time when I walked at a mall in San Diego. Oh, it's my God. Huge. I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go you ahead. You always go to the Gucci store. Very pathetic. And I was going to say, you're going to love this then. You're going to love this. And I hope we have some time codes. Yeah, we do. We're not going to spend a lot because it's a 24-minute 
You could go. I would love. I lo, I watch these videos all day long. This is called uh, the official reveal of my new ten million dollar house. It has thirteen thousand dislikes. Everyone in the comments saying it only costs four point uh, two five million, and I guarantee he rented it. But our focus today is going to be on his design and how fucking gay it is. And we're going to make fun of what do we love doing the most? Making fun of people's homes. Now, this, Turns out it isn't just for poor people. It's not just for poor people, okay? You don't need a, uh, um, uh, you know, um, a, uh, a kitchen from the, from the late 80s to be on this show. You could have a brand new house. Now, this is so funny. There are realtors in L.A., there are designers in L.A. There's a whole industry in L.A. that can sniff out stupid idiots. And the new influencer boom with all these kids being rich, you know, really think about this. There's really no time in American history or in any history where a bunch of fucking faggot idiots became millionaires in in numbers like this. Now, before, sure, you've always had rich celebrity kids, but they were in a real movie or a real TV show or a real commercial or they were a real singer. I mean, Justin Bieber looks like Mozart compared to Faze Rug. Okay? We hated Justin Bieber for being a rich kid. At least he plays the drums. <laughs> Faze Bank can barely play Mario Kart. Uh, Faze Bank. So, or, or Faze uh, Rug, whatever. <laughs> um, these people do not deserve the money. They haven't earned the money. They're uh, the devil's dingleberries. And there's an entire industry in L.A. set up to extract money from the people who extract money. So FaZe Banks and all these shithead influencers who con kids out of cash, they get conned by bigger people. You know, FaZe Banks and all his dummy friends and all these fucking influencers, they think they're like the upper echelon of L.A. They're jokes compared to like real celebrities and real people who make money and people in the industry, they look at these people as litter. They're destroying LA. You think some fucking governor in Bel Air wants to live next to the likes of Ethan Klein? This man who worked all his life, fucking uh, Philip Banks, sitting there, and his next door neighbor is Ethan with his pants all the way up to his tits, walking around doing blackface farts. You think that's what they wanted to live next to? These people worked all their lives being racist to get this money. And now all of a sudden you have Logan Paul, you know, owning a ranch. So, um, uh, hold on. Let me take this pill. Cute coke. And now you're under my control. Whoa, man. I'm seeing titties. Uh, so there's an entire industry now in LA that can see a sucker coming from a mile around and they prey on these influencers. This is so great. So there are realtors who go, we have a 15-year-old out-of-date mansion that we can't move. It's sitting here like a fucking brick. The only person dumb enough to buy it is somebody from the FaZe clan. And that's exactly what happened. And uh, these people have no style, no class, and they just became rich in two years. So they just think a big house is nice. They don't understand that all the fucking... The uh, marble, the tile, the floors, the decor, the way the doors are cut, the fucking trim. It's all out of date to the extent where they can't move this house because real rich people would never fucking live there. What's the other one that they do where they con these people? Decor, the decorators. There's a whole decorator racket, and this is what they do. So decorators, they pay in to warehouses filled with decor items vases ashtrays well, probably like knickknack. leftover stuff from well, hold like on. house yeah i'm getting there so um uh decor changes okay for instance you ever been to west elm or or fucking uh pottery barn or any of these fucking stores every four months they have a whole new style and a whole new set of stuff and where does that old stuff go here i'll make it even easier you've been to target right you ever gone to that a bottom of the end aisle and you see those red stickers clearance here's a vase it was 74 dollars once it's on sale for 495 and it's hideous no one wanted it no one ever wanted it but they have to move it right so it's four bucks now 
there are interior decorators who their only clients are fools. And what they do is they get everything for pennies on the dollar, but they, the fool client thinks they're getting an interior decorator and the interior decorator offloads all that clearance crap into their house and charges them a premium. So Faze Rugg spent like $400,000 on this interior decorator and all she did, she probably spent maybe 20 grand at the design warehouse on all the clearance shit. I bet she had leftover stuff from home stage and other shit. Oh yeah. It's stuff that real rich (laughs) people would never buy. It's stuff that's for the garbage, but they could smell a mark from a mile away. Ladies and gentlemen, the reveal of Faze Rugg's new home damn those are some big doors and a phase logo as a doormat like where am i hello is anyone home oh yo whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what wait don't show the house all right okay, here he is it's already time for the reveal bro of course you're this is this douche phase rug and they all seem again they're all armenian these gaming kids right they all have curls that's a new thing if you want to be in gaming you have to have curls uh, so here he is. Here's his house. And uh, let's do the intro and then we'll just skip ahead to some of my favorite parts. You already have a new house. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to try not to get emotional here, but here we are, my brand new home. Something that I've been working on for months now. It's finally here. I cannot believe it. I cannot wait to show you guys. But real quick before that, I Cheers, just everybody. Say thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me, for watching my videos, for believing in me. If it wasn't for you guys, I seriously would not be able to purchase this home. I would not be able to put all these smiles on everyone's faces. And, and all like, these idiot kids in the comments are like, one day I'm going to be, I'm going to work my ass off and hustle, hustle. They're all like learning from these kids. That Oh, yes. That's what like every 10 yeah. year old thinks now because of guys like this. They just think that they just have to hustle. This is like they can get a mansion. This is like if Mr. Rogers was wearing Supreme <laughs> and did nothing all day and just took mirror selfies. And that just were told not a, the kids to do whatever you, know, you can to get money. I'm really concerned now. I grew up on a healthy diet of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and Sesame Street. They're growing up on a healthy diet of this. They're going to be insane when they grow up. I mean, this is to feed this into your kids while they're still learning is crazy. And this is all they watch. You think these parents give a fuck? They love that their kids are watching this and out of their hair so that they could sit online and argue about Trump. Uh... I'm very concerned at what these kids are going to turn into. They're being raised by the FaZe clan. You know? It really is. At least even when we watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all day as kids or the Snorks or the Smurfs, it had a message, moral, a goal. At the end of the thing, like, even if fucking uh, Michelangelo killed Splinter, they'd have a thing at the end where they're like, killing is never the answer. We must all be for These guys, come on. You think at the end of a Fortnite stream, there's a moral? No, the moral is, hey, send us your money. If you did this to Saturday morning cartoons, the world would be that in an uproar. That is so true. Yeah. <laughs> like, the world would be in an uproar. If Saturday morning cartoons were like doing what these kids are doing to kids, it would be, you know, on every news channel. Like these- at least when we were kids, at least like. Lizzie McGuire was telling you to always tell the truth and stuff like that. (laughs) I mean, really, I mean, take the word Captain Planet. All the cartoons we watched were making us good people. Wow. All of the shows that kids watch right now are turning you into complete shitbags that aren't even good at being shitbags. Like, hey, if you're going to be superficial, at least do it Kanye West style. Like, Kanye West is a massive money extracting shitbag, but at least... It's cool. <laughs> At least it's inspiring. This guy, what kind of shirt is this? What kind of haircut? You're not even cool. At least if you follow Kanye or Kim, they're showing you some fucking titties or cool clothes or they're doing something cool. This is all horribly designed. <laughs> it's not even giving you an idea of how to dress shit. You know what I mean? It's like if you're going to be superficial, at least be fly, you know? Wait till you see this horse And shit. it's like, these guys also are all like, I just like showing off all my stuff to give people motivation and people yeah. like seeing this oh, kind yeah, of stuff, motivation. but none of it is even good. Money extracting 
horse shit with on it. These people don't even go to school anymore. If you're Charlie XCX D'Amelio, you're 15 years old. Your parents have taken you out of school and all of your friends are 29 and you go to BOA on a Tuesday and you drink with Jan. You know, Charlie uh, D'Amelio, she's 15 years old. She became famous one week ago for doing a TikTok dance, accidentally got 29 million followers, and now her dad just lets her hang out with James Charles all day. A convicted... Uh, James Charles is trustworthy and cool. No, but 15-year-olds should be hanging around with 15-year-olds, not 29-year-old men who go to steakhouses. When I was 15, the only steakhouse I went to was Jimmy's Char House once a year on my grandma's birthday. It has a 3.5 on Yelp currently <laughs> in Deerfield, Illinois. So the, what's going And all these kids look at this and, the, and they're influenced by this. I mean, these guys are called influencers. And for brands to be so sensitive and cancel people on the drop of an N-word, you should cancel these people for the bad behavior. What, uh, brands are so strict and so afraid to get canceled, yet you're doing the devil's deed. A brand won't come near me. The most trustworthy guy on the net, but a, brand, a million brands work with him, with kids, but they would cancel him if he said a bad word. They won't cancel him for the millions of bad, horrible, evil deeds. He does. This is what's happening in your America that you think is so cool. Here, let's see what happens in this video. And um, hopefully the wildfires are very close to this development. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. Here we are at my brand new house, the start of a new era. Whoo, hold on, okay, this is big. Are you guys ready? I think it's time to show them. Oh, I don't even know. The house is so big that it's, you know, no one buys these big houses anymore. They learned in 1998 that if you lose your cell phone in an 8,000 square foot house, if you leave it, you're fucked. You know, it was cool to live in an 8,000 square foot house before we had a cell phone. <laughs> How many times you're like, fuck, I left my phone in my room. If you have an 8,000 square foot house, that's half a day looking, looking for your cell phone. I mean, imagine how many times you've been like, fuck, I forgot my glass in the kitchen. You have to walk down eight flights of stairs. Now, it's not good. You want everything, to be honest, what you want is everything within, you know, walking distance. You want to be able to see everything in your house, but you want it to be nice. But to have a mansion this big and to have no kids is retarded. It's just yes. retarded. You're never going to use these rooms. This isn't me being a hater, by the way. I've put a lot of thought into this. Uh, if you have a house that's separated by so many rooms, this was meant for like a uh, person who has like 13 kids. He was the creator of Kellogg's. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, he has 13 kids. His mother He's lives got, there too. Yeah, there's like a trust going on. You know, like uh, what's that show on HBO that everybody loves so much? Uh, Contagions. What is it called? Succession. Succession. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's you got to have a family like that. It was never meant for Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is like, I bought a 40,000 square foot mansion. It rules. I could only spend my time in one part. It's like. What are you going to do, like uh, set a timer and every 10 minutes change rooms? You're just letting those rooms decay. You can't even get to the other room. What about dusting? Your whole life is dust. I mean, I can't even keep up with this house. They don't do their own dusting, you poor. They do because <laughs> these people don't realize. They go, holy shit, the mortgage payments are only 10000 a month. I make 11000 a month. It's perfect. They're not factoring. You need a whole staff. You know, you need all this stuff. You need butlers. You need wives. You need children. Here you go. Guys, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are about to come out with the craziest content of all time in this brand new home. Dude, I don't know. Like, it's like so nerve wracking. You guys don't understand. I know you guys want to see it. So here's what, you, what you want is Logan Paul's house. That's what you want. No bigger. I mean, really. you should have enough room for everything you need and everything has its place. And this is no all gaudy. Extra. What do you want to live? Like Liberace in the 70s? This looks awful. I mean, this looks like something Elton John would burn down and call queer. Look. I got a custom phase doormat. So we're going to take off our shoes here because it's a brand new house. Including you. 
Oh, Not okay. no. Yeah, I'm sorry, you just gotta do it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome. Look at this hell hole. They're doing Here a terrible are, job guys. of showing anything. I wouldn't. The art is I, what pushes it over the edge for let me. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I wouldn't use this house to make a phone call if somebody was chasing me with a knife. I would, I'd go, this house is too tacky. Not going in. This motherfucker lives there. We're going to go ahead to 115. You can keep playing it from here. Oh, okay. I can do it here. Guys, my new home, I hope you guys like it because you guys are a huge part of this. So you guys have to like it. But as you can see, we start out here with like this chrome dog statue. Yep. So and this is nothing compared to what's about to happen. His decorator. So what he did is he bought this, or I, I believe he rented it. I don't think these people. Well, no, it. he did buy it. Remember, Graham how do we Stephan know that? Looked it up. He doesn't he know if he bought it. Mil. He knows someone bought it. They don't tell you who. He knows someone bought it. I guarantee he's renting this thing. Okay, that's what these people in LA do. They rent their cars. You know, they rent their houses, and they want everyone to think they're big shots, and they're all on borrowed time and borrowed money. They're living at home and they can't be funny. Um, this uh, designer, wait till you see what they did. And this is, you're never <laughs> Can supposed to- Can I read you a comment that's going to make you feel Oh yeah, I'd love this to This guy in the check goes, very parasite-like house. No. <laughs> Absolutely and this is what I mean. <laughs> so many people cannot <laughs> see stuff. The parasite house was a beautiful amazing. Frank Lloyd Wright piece of architecture. This house is a Kumia McMansion. <laughs> Built for a disabled rich person who doesn't know any better. This is a scam house. It's not nice. The house in Parasite was beautiful. It was a piece of artwork. Okay? I guess people just don't People know can't that. see. They can't they see. Know, so they, they don't know. House, know. And then they know big and small, and that's it? They know big and small. That's it. They can't <laughs> scares see. scares me. They don't know. They probably think this is fine art. We're here making fun of this guy. <laughs> Uh, you know, we're not just making fun of a beautiful home. That would make no sense. Uh, we're making fun of it because it all is shit. Okay. Uh, this is all crap. All right. You might as well go live at the Marriott Inn, uh, which you probably think is nice. Uh, this is, uh, he paid this decorator around $400,000 and she went and put Art, she bought all the art for the house at once. So she went to a design discount warehouse and bought, you know, $25 pieces of uh, prints and put them all over the house. But she charges him like 10 grand as if it, and he believes that these are works of art. He thinks that's a painting. He thinks you could go on Instagram and find the jankiest company in the world and buy that yes, for this is $16. The part that I care about the most yeah. is how much he brags about the art, and then this is what the art is. The art is just prints. I mean, really, if you take the cost that this makes... First of all, it's not even made by an artist. It's a print from somebody who made it on Photoshop, and it was shared on High Snobiety's comment section. <laughs> Dude, check out this image I made of Kanye made out of mosaic. You've seen this shit like Nike art that people do? Art of a shoe. Have you seen <laughs> yes. this? Dude, I made mosaic crystal point zaic art of a shoe. It's not even an artist. It's a guy who photoshopped a shoe and put a filter on it. Wait till you see this shit. Z Somebody says Z gallery art. This and yes. Z Gallery. Now, Z Gallery was popular in 1998 as well and never changed its style. Z Gallery is very similar to this. Z but Gallery this is, is a bit worse, nicer. Sure. This is worse. Wait till you see this. One big thing I love about this house is how high the ceilings are. I'm always a high ceiling type of person, so oh. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, yeah. To... I'm a boat person and a money person. I love that, too. I'm a high ceilings type of person as opposed to, what, a hobbit that likes it short? Nobody likes a low ceiling. Caved in light. That's one of the dopest things too because the lights come from the inside, which is crazy. I think to start it out, we should go to the dining room. Look at this. So, look at these chairs. They're awful. Who designed this? Somebody was making a Beetlejuice knockoff? Uh, these are awful. So his designer, what she did, is she knew. She knew this guy was a sucker and they actually have a test, a questionnaire. You're going to hear about this. So a designer 
even if she does good work, she goes, wait a minute, I might be able to make a killing. They have these people fill out a questionnaire and then they could go, oh, this guy's an idiot. I'll get him. This table and chair set was probably, they couldn't give it away at the design warehouse. And she probably paid a hundred bucks for this and charged him seventy thousand dollars. Stupid fucking chair. Look like, at this chair. It's insane. metal. It's metal. Look. Like I don't think we could sit here. It's more for show, but <laughs> this is absolutely insane. As you can see, brand new dining table. Look this at is probably that where table. I could have some meetings at. And oh look yeah. Straight ahead, the Wolf Wait, of look. Wall Street. Okay, folks. This it's is time. Where I knew. In his fabulous dining room is just about the cheapest Wolf of Wall Street poster I've ever seen. It's not even the official movie poster. It's a knockoff, shitty Photoshop artist's rendering. It's a yellow square with a clip art wolf, and then in Bebop's new cheap font says the Wolf of Wall Street. And, and only, then there's a camera at the bottom, so you know it's a film. Yes, <laughs> only a complete sucker would fall. Look at these finishings. Look at, he has champagne flute. Again, if these were at Crate and Barrel, they'd go, take them, take them. No one's buying them. We, we fucked up with this. Thank we you thought, for understanding everybody. Oh, good, the they're understanding. When Mike, Mike was like, you have to see FaZe Rugs house tour, I was like, okay. Look at this shit. Just Look thought it was this. a shitty house, but then this when is... I saw this Wolf of Wall Street poster, I yeah. was so Oh, wait, old. it gets way worse. <laughs> Look at this. Only Dave Rubin would think this is a nice... What even is it? It's not even a thing. These are just tubes. <laughs> uh, no one buy... And only retards think this is decor. Look at this lamp. Look at it. And if you think any of this is nice, you need to drown your son. Okay? He can't be out there. Listen to this. Painting. Look at how giant that thing is. This is one of my favorite movies. My interior designer basically gave me like a- Your favorite movie is the money movie where you scam people. Isn't that something? All these asshole kids. Oh, my favorite movie is where everyone's an asshole and Watch Wolf of Wall Street again. It's toxic. <laughs> it really is. Even if you're anti-PC, it's a bunch of shitheads. <laughs> you think Wall Street is cool? How giant that thing is. This is one of my favorite movies. My interior designer basically gave me like a questionnaire, like who's your favorite actor? What's your favorite movie? And she kind of just went along with that. But everything about this is, is so is elegant. Like look at crazy. these glasses. Yeah. She had you write down your favorite movies because you why? Hear that? What interior designer would do that? Because and then when she, she knows, heard, she picked out this. Yes, because she knows. First of all, this woman is probably just some hookup that their Arab friend knew. Dude, bro, don't even... Don't even open the phone pages, bro. My sister, best interior designer you'll ever fucking meet, bro. Seriously, dog. Yo, I'll hook you up. I'll give you her number. They all do this. They won't buy even the simplest things. They won't buy uh, Comcast cable. Bro, dude, my friend, he could take the wire from the neighbor, plug it right into your box. Do not. This is how uh, Armenians operate. I mean, I used to work at an interior design place in Calgary and what movies the client likes isn't a part of the discussion. No, that's not design. That doesn't happen. Design has nothing to do with film unless it's uh, you're building a theater room <laughs> and they want to know what the projector you want. And by the way, if they build you a theater room, you're being ripped off. A theater room? Let me tell you something about the theater room scam. They're putting $800 projectors in. This is what they do. They take your bedroom. They paint it maroon. They go to Sam's Club and they buy seven $200 faux leather recliners with cup holders. If your theater room has built in cup holders in the seats, they might be from Costco. This is how you know if somebody's got no class. If they have a theater room with those fake leather big things, they have cup holders, and and the screen, the the projector, it's eight hundred. They're charging you like a hundred grand for that room. They might have spent six grand on the room, and you think because it has a, a two levels that it's a theater? It's not a theater. You know, I watched a producer Michael who does house tours. Poo poo. They had a theater room, and for the first time ever. The theater had a 100-inch LED TV instead of a screen. And he goes, why do they have a TV instead of a screen? If I, this was, this should have a theater. 
the idiots think a projector is better than a TV. Projectors. Large. Yes. My ex-boyfriend had this rich stepdad yes. and they had a theater room in the basement and then an upstairs room with a beautiful, huge TV. And he would always make us watch yeah. movies downstairs it and, the projector room, and the projector the would burn out yes. all the time. The bulb. Guys, and then the dad would make us sit and wait till he could like get yeah. a new bulb and fix it. And they don't just understand going to the TV place. Unless your projector was twenty five thousand dollars with a real lens and it's like T E X certified or some shit. <laughs> It's shit. Okay, you might as well set up a vis-a-vis overhead projector from your school and just do math equations <laughs> in red ink. It's not good. There is a set of people who still think projectors are the way to go. It looks awful. I'm telling you, you want a TV, a big TV. There's glass. There's stuff in it. I mean, a projector is just literally a white cloth. It's not good. Glasses. This is more just for look. I'm never gonna use them, but I mean, this dining room is incredible. No, one of it's my favorite not. Look at this. Look at this. Of every art piece that she picked, is this Louis Vuitton pink champagne bottle? Oh like, this is that she my picked. god. <laughs> Louis art piece. This is an art piece. It's a champagne bottle, and instead of it just being a champagne bottle, it says Louis and Vuitton, only for fashionable people. Look at this piece of shit print. This isn't a painting, by the way. It's, no, it's paper. Art. It's laser printed paper. This cost the uh, this cost maybe sixteen dollars. Hey, someone to says produce. breast cancer art. Yes. That's hilarious. He thinks this is and it's like you don't even own Louis Vuitton. You can't and if be. You do. Isn't that enough? You and have to have a listen, fake Louis Jeffrey Star could have Louis Vuitton art. Okay, fine. He owns. $10 million worth of Louis Vuitton pieces. He studies the designs. He's followed it for years. You just like it because it's expensive, but you don't even wear Louis Vuitton. It's a woman's company, first of all. Let me tell you something about Louis Vuitton. It's for rich grandmothers. It's a purse company. This would be like if I started wearing makeup. It just doesn't add up. You watching these kids now, they forget. Like, just because something's expensive, they like it, even if it's a woman's brand. All right? This would be like if these guys started wearing high heels and shit. It's a woman's brand. Stop! Have you ever been to a Louis Vuitton store in the mall? It's purses. You're into a purse company? This is how stupid people are. They're into a purse company because it's expensive. But you're a man, you don't wear a purse. Absolutely incredible, wow. And every room you go into, it has the caved lighting. So as you can see, there's lights coming from the top. <sighs> okay, that let's looks keep bad. going. This is gonna be crazy, because there is some insane stuff in this house. I've been talking about it for a long time, but we're gonna go straight ahead. What do they call this room? Like, oh, it's not the main living room, it's just God. like the room that nobody Fuck. really sits wait till you in. see like, this. keep it clean, it's more for look. You know, this is pretty- Oh, wait. Lit. I mean, Look at that art. X, that's on the table. What is this? What do you call tic tac toe? It's a tic tac toe set for Again, the table. Again, she goes, "Give me all the stuff that is not selling." I got a client who is so fucking retarded. Look at this. This is on his table. A tic tac toe. I mean, in your wildest dreams at world market would you ever buy this this is like have you ever like gotten lost oh at, my god well, and i've got a link from you from someone in the have chat. you ever got lost in a macy's and you end up in a home goods section full of crap like this and you go who the fuck would ever buy this he has this in his Click house the link I just sent you. overstock.com yep. they found his stuff oh my god i was right <gasps> five wait 34 dollars <laughs> Oh my God, he needs to see this. So Faze Rugs designer that he paid for is on Overstock. It's even worse than I thought. She's not even part of the design world. She went to Overstock.com. It's on sale, was $39, now on sale for $34.64. Here's the Louis Vuitton art. Great art deserves to be on canvas. Oh. $34. If you have $34 in your $10 million mansion, you might be a complete piece of shit. This is like, I can't I, believe this. A rich person doesn't 
even own a toothbrush that's under a hundred dollars. I mean, there's not if you're rich, there's not a thirty-four dollar item in your house no. unless it's uh some waffles. You know no. what I mean? To have just, art on your wall that is thirty-four dollars is insane. Seeing this website page is art. This is more artistic. <laughs> yeah. What I'm doing is more artistic than this entire home. Okay. Well, let's see if we could keep matching these up on Overstock. Yes. Thank you to the guy that found that. So You're see incredible. if you could find this tic tac toe board. Let's see that. Let's price all this out and see how this motherfucker got scammed. Well, for see like, if you can find the Wolf of Wall Street thing yeah. too. Let's see. Okay, here we go. We got this elegant couch. Yeah. We got this, this elegant, elegant couch. couch. Now the couch Look isn't at this. so bad on its own. So it, ignore well, that. But still, it's not so it's bad horrible. for Luis J. Gomez's house. Maybe. Look at these chairs back there. Now, nightclubs in in 2004 used to have chairs like this. Nobody's buying this crap anymore. Look at this room. He thinks this looks good. I can't explain it. To, if you think these two chairs are badass boss chairs back here, you're just as bad as him and you deserve to be exported back. Hey, look at these giant chairs. That picture right there, how tall is that? Like look at that. Now, what's this from this picture? Oh, Jules. someone in the his comments said it's from the show Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders poster. Look at it. And they didn't even raise it above the... You got these high ceilings. They put it right butted against the fire. Look how bad this looks. Look at this cheap... It's a man smoking. Faze Rugs never even been around a cigarette. Oh, and they found the Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, my God. $15. Let's see it. No, no. It's oh, not wait. 15 It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. Let's see. This is on Redbubble. Very well, this isn't the same. This is the small one. So let's go to the giant one. Thirty-two fifty. <laughs> Hang your posters in dorms, bedroom, offices, studios, or ten million dollar mansions. <laughs> Dude, you've got uh dorm, bedroom, or office art. And it by the way, if you buy this art, you should be killed. Um Oh, wait, he, someone found the actual version one. Oh, okay. Allposters.com. Allposters.com. Let's see this one. Here it is. This is his actual one. And he thinks these were like handmade. Here, we'll go to the biggest one. 36 by 48. 72.79. Ships in five to seven days. Okay. Less expensive than a dinner. And it lives on your wall for life. All right, let's see some more. Feet. I think it's taller than both of us combined. That's a vibe right there. No, and it's not. Course, we had to get the Gucci Look at this. We had to. Oh, <laughs> my God. This is art on his wall. It is literally the shittiest print. This isn't even by Gucci. Like, Gucci didn't design no, this. this. absolutely is not. Gucci fan art made by a 15-year-old douche who doesn't own any Gucci. By the way, real Gucci looks horrible. <laughs> It's red and green elf clothes, okay? <laughs> For Italian idiots. This looks horrible. It's a square Gucci print. Uh, again, you got to be severely retarded to like this. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts that I met Kylie Jenner in. This is my lucky shirt, so for big days like this, I have to always wear it. Ooh, okay, wait, which way should we go? Left, right? I'm saying we go right. Ooh, I don't want to show them. Don't show it, okay. okay. One of the main things in this house is down the hall. And okay, we're wait, gonna you gotta you play this part. You guys are gonna fucking die. You're gonna die. die. Just keep okay, going. Just keep going. Watch this. This gets far right. In three, two, one, boom. We got an art piece of Drake, the legend Drake. <laughs> and we're gonna go there in a second to show you how big that really is, but I wanna show you the hallway. I don't want to show Hold it, but I think second. your house is haunted. Dude, stop. Don't even start. <laughs> All this was Yo, you know who I met in the hallway? Aubrey. <laughs> yep, Drake. He has a uh, very big painting of Drake <laughs> in his hallway. Done in abstract uh, neonism. Or I, not even Nia. This is like this is like if you took a pack of Crayola Bolds, the ugliest marker set Crayola's ever put out, and draw. I mean, teal, brown, maroon, bad shades of purple, a burnt orange. Remember Crayola Bolds? 
Oh, was that an ugly set? You know, the original Crayola, Crayola, you got some complimentary colors, some primaries. This is some shitty ass color. I mean, this is like when you go to your local coffee shop and there's like five crooked canvases yes. with a little price tag underneath. And then there's a new artist. No, no, every no. You time. don't get it. This was made by Razul. Okay. So he has a giant photo of Drake. This gets worse. Hand painted by Rasul. <laughs> Shout Rasool. out to Rasul. Look at how tall this is. Just in comparison to me, like Whoa. the further you go, the crazy. Shouldn't Drake sue? Uh, this shouldn't be allowed. You know what I mean? Like you should have to get permission to have a photo of Drake this big. This is very, very cringe. You're into Drake, huh? You didn't know he sucks. Here it looks. So all right. Watch it. Okay. We're gonna head into this room right here. I never knew what to call it. Okay. it oh just my god, wait, wait, wait. It gotta, looks like I'm a shaking. Waiting. And as you can see on the wall, okay. we have here is the best part. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna explain this to you. So he's got two posters of Kanye West's famous Red October. Yeezys Yeezy all in your sofa. It. These the red Octobers. You should just let him say yes, it. Yes, watch this. By the way, check out this Wolf of Wall Street art here. Oh my it's God. It's a black and white picture of Leonardo DiCaprio on a yacht, <laughs> but they've colorized the American flag. So that's pretty cool, right? Fuck, man. Dude, Leo is the bomb because he's rich. I mean, that's... He's not trolling. This would be amazing. When I was 10, so my, I got my first Canon Rebel, and the first thing my dad told me was to never use the setting where it isolates one color. Oh, never. Never. And still, that is the 15 cringing. years later, you've seen this. still doing this. Hey, anytime there's a photo of a rose, they will make the... Re Have you ever seen a photographer do <laughs> yes. this? Guys, the picture is black and white, but the rose is still red. That looks terrible. I mean, Anyone who does that, said. unfriend. Shouldn't need to be okay. said. The best part is coming up. I hope I don't have to. Uh, well, we're going to have to explain it to some people. The best part's coming up. Do what to call it. It just looks like a waiting room. And as you can see on the wall, we have these two paintings. And these are actually Kanye West's first ever shoes that he created. They're Nike Yeezys. We're going to go through this. Okay, so this is probably the most foolish thing I've ever seen, and I'll tell you why. The shoes he's showing you here are Kanye West's... Look it up. Look up what number they were. These are the Red October's very famous Nike Yeezy shoes. They are not Kanye's first shoes. In fact, no one who watches this needs to be told what they are, but what makes this so funny is he has two giant paintings of Kanye's most famous shoe, the Red October, and he has no idea what they are. Now, the only reason you would have these paintings is if maybe you were a giant fan of this particular shoe, but to not even know what they are and have them hung up. And to say this out loud to hype beasts everywhere, I mean, this is a guy, oh, I got Louis here, Gucci here. These are Kanye West's first shoes. They're actually Nike. Con the Nike Kanye Yeezy One came out in 2009, yeah. and the Red Octobers came out in 2014. Exactly. So he doesn't even know what they are, and he's telling us as if this is, we're not going to know what these are either, but uh, he knows, and he doesn't even know. Also, they instantly and found the po the, this poster again. Oh, well, every shithead has, these are the cheapest. Listen to this asshole again. On the wall, we have these two paintings, and these are actually Kanye West's first ever shoes that he created. They're Nike Yeezys. <laughs> We're going to go through this door right here. This is the room that I'm probably never going to use, but it's the laundry room. Listen to this. <laughs> I don't know. This is the room I'm probably never going to use. The laundry room. Uh-oh. Whoever said Arabs smell bad? Uh, listen to this. This door right here, this is the room that I'm probably never going to use, but it's the laundry room. <laughs> I don't know how to wash clothes. Yeah. That's I don't know how to wash clothes. So for those of you who don't know, laundry machines are used to wash clothes. And what you do is you put your clothes in them, add detergent, and hit start. He doesn't know how to do that. 
I mean, I would go to say opening a fruit roll up is more challenging than washing a load of laundry. He doesn't know how to do that. Very simple. There's even a play button now on your watch. I can understand. Hey, you've got a washboard and a jug. You're by a creek. I don't know how to wash clothes. It has a play button. They've really made it this easily. Where a fucking washing machine has a play button because people are so stupid. Remember when you were a kid, you would have to turn the dial. So this motherfucker does not know how to wash clothes. You throw in a Tide Pod. You press the button. So he needs to die. The room that I'm probably never going to use, but it's the laundry room. <laughs> I don't know how to wash clothes. Yeah, that's a true fact right there. So it's a pretty big laundry room. Imagine it's awful. Hide and seek. There's oh, so spots. So oh my God. Wait, I just uncovered a gem. So this is a $10 million man, right? Watch this. It's a pr pretty big laundry room. Imagine hide and seek. There's oh. Get me a price check on Arm and Hammer laundry detergent. What about now, all? I'm very funny, but um, <laughs> this, now I know my, I basically, I could be on the prices right. I know every price hey, well, of every item in Walgreens. You and my sister should team up and go on there. Arm and Hammer laundry detergent. This is about four bucks. Now, if you think that's expensive, this is four bucks for like every Arm and Hammer thing is like 32 loads plus 10 hundred free. You know, they got that thing. It's family size. It's got free. Uh, Tide is $13.99. So when you see something that's twice the size of Tide and it's $4, you should probably be suspicious. How much? Five. Five ninety nine, dollars folks. We got the official price. What kind of rich person is using $5.99 suds? You know what I mean? You the should detergent have... we caught by costs like twenty seven dollars. I hate buying well, it. Yeah, you know we have some respect. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna step out of the laundry room. And by the way, please, whenever you guys can, just leave your feedback of what you think so far. I want this video it to sucks. blow up. This is something I've been working on for so long. I can't even tell you guys how long it's been. But this is one of the guest bedrooms. It's completely empty right now. We got it repainted, uh, white walls, and white then... walls or gray. You are not even know color. Look at this shithole. You could not pay me to stay here. It has a full bathroom and shower. Every single okay, room you see. showing these are all awful. Where should we go okay, now? at 5.30. Yeah, I can is... keep it playing. Sure. 5.30. Wait till you see this. This guy's so stupid. Watch this. See in this house has a full bathroom, a full shower, and they're really nice. Like every single shower in here is super, super nice. <sighs> Okay, this is gonna be an important part of my life. This room right here is gonna be a life changer for me. And you Look guys will this. see. So it's empty right now, right? Okay, but it's gonna be a gym. We got a full on- This is your gym. You buy a $10 million house to be stuck in a, uh, I mean, we all own a room like this in our homes. It's about 11 by 12. This is gonna be his gym. An 11 by 12 carpeted room. The only reason it's going to be the gym is because there's mirrors on the wall. Okay? But this is where he's going to be stuck. So imagine you're being you're rich and you're stuck in a place worse than uh, a prison gym is nicer than this. Why would you want to be stuck in this little carpeted room doing your workouts all day? And he's got this old ass TV. They've got... The whole house is outfitted with 42-inch plasma TVs with bezels thicker than my cock. Here. Here, across there. This was a Wait, gym it gets room worse. from the previous homeowners, and I'm turning this into a gym myself. Oh, so my God. The boy rug is about to get big on them. Like, I want you guys to just compare. Like, Don't this, worry about and this. And then six months down the road, we're going to stand in this exact same it's just spot. Nice doing. nipples. What are those? Rafts? I could go down the lazy river on those. We're brewing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so fresh. It's going to be good. Thank you. Take it off early, though. I'm in need. I know. I'll be here. fast. Okay. Okay. As you can see real quick, okay. there's an iPad. Here's what I love. Here's how you know somebody's dirt stupid. When they think they have a smart house, okay? You know someone's stupid when they think it's cool that there's a screen where they could turn the lights down and it's an iPad. Now, listen, everybody knows a smart house today should all be controlled by your phone, okay? There shouldn't be these 
janky uh, staples, weird tablets all over the house that go out. You know, and I say this, too, about all these Mercedes Benz cars that they got out now. It's such a scam. You're being scammed scammed by Mercedes Benz, too. And I think even BMW. I don't know if they still do this, but last year's model and the one before they've there's no center council and there's no infotainment center anymore they just have a cheap no-name tablet that pops up on the dash like it just sticks up like this but it's not even like an ipad and everything is controlled by that and it's got like a thick frame and it's just this cheap fucking like literally this would be something that's like two hundred dollars at an office supply store and it's like um no 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 mercedes-benz can you go back to building everything in and making it nice they're getting away with murder those interiors used to be the reason people wanted a luxury car now you go in it looks like a toyota camry and they just have a pop-up little screen that's an old shitty tablet that's all it is i'd rather stick an ipad in an Acura, that's a nicer interior than the Mercedes-Benz. So you're being conned, man. And, uh, you know, that's I like the Tesla, the built-in one, but that those cheaper Teslas have the little pop-up. That's just a shitty tablet. Like, literally, this iPad is nicer than the Mercedes-Benz infotainment center. And this is like 300 bucks. Is that what you want for Mercedes-Benz? A 300? And believe me. If an iPad is 300 bucks, the Mercedes-Benz little mini tablet, what is that, 50 bucks? And then it's like outdated a year later. Even an iPad a year later, the, the, the one from the year before looks old and shitty. Why would you emulate that in your luxury car? No, 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 brands. You must build everything in and make it nice. I don't want a Mercedes-Benz that looks like I'm driving a RAV4 inside. Really? That's that's a bit. They're saving tons of money doing that, too. Think about it. They had custom everything, dials and all this shit. And now it's just this shitty fucking tab. You're very lucky to have me. All right. Let's see what happens next. You're going to love this part. This exact same spot. And then we're just going to compare. OK. OK. As you can see real quick, there's an iPad in this room and there's actually iPad. Wow. So here it is. He thinks this is so luxury. He has second generation iPads. This is the iPad 2. They're in every room looking all smeared and scratched and they're on the floor plugged in via third party charging units. Uh oh, I spilled coffee <laughs> I all over. How did that happen? It just tipped a little when he grabbed it. Oh my God. It's okay. Um, he thinks that's class. That looks like shit. You know how many iPads I have? I have like 15 of these all over the house that I don't even use. There's like three in the bookshelf right there that are newer than that one. As soon as an iPad goes out of date, I throw them on the ground as if it's an old magazine. And this guy's got them and he's showing them off I as mean, if this is rich. This is a smart home to him that the lights are controlled by an old second gen iPad. Ads across the entire house. And that's kind of how the whole house is ran. If you want to play music, iPad. If Whoa. you want to turn on and off the lights, you could control it through the no, iPad. Turning no, no, no. Cool heater, iPad. Everything through Isn't the iPad. Isn't it easier to just dope. flip on and off the fucking exactly. lights? Exactly. And to bend over and click an iPad. The pool heater is not hooked up to the iPad. Just the lights and the music using iLife app three stars. He's not, it, the pool heater's not hooked up to that. If it was, then we're talking. Uh, but uh, that would be retarded. Okay. A full closet, full bathroom, shower in every room, but they all have their own design. So this yeah. one's actually really cool. I no, it's not. And it's awful. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's the last Anyways, one. Anyways, I didn't put a ton because I didn't it's know. Okay. No, I don't do want to do a ton. Go watch it on your own. Here's the last one. And you're going to recognize this guy. This is almost sacrilegious to do. Remember that Drake painting? Well, at the other end of the hallway, he has an opposing painting of another um, African-American. <laughs> okay. Which isn't the problem with the painting. Okay. You know, but it's the, the people he looks up to might be the problem. This next one is a recently deceased AA. Isn't that funny? AAs. All right, let's see this. This is 1345 here. 
And uh, you're going to love it. Here it is, his other painting. And then you could go watch the rest of it on your own the later whole tonight. Thing is crazy the whole if thing you're is into great. This stuff, but I just didn't know that we were yeah. going to do this. So. The whole thing is great. Watch this. I think it's time for you guys to see the other half of the house, which is crazy to say. Should we show? I think it's time. If Ooh. anybody could guess who is on that wall without fast forwarding the video, you are a real one because, like, it's very sentimental to me and he's one of my inspirations. So, are you ready? Three, two, one, boom. We got the Black Mamba. Helicopter boy, Kobe, Lamar, Bryant, everybody. Yes, Ari Shafir's favorite ghost. It doesn't even really look. I didn't know that when was him When you said first. that it was a deceased African-American, everybody started guessing George Floyd. Wow. So this well, that was kind of a letdown. Oh, down. sorry. That would have ruled. That's <laughs> what my house has, actually. George Floyd paintings everywhere. Because I love him. By the way, there are more George Floyd paintings than there are Kobe, Kobe. paintings at this point. Can you believe that? Isn't that something? Uh, um, I'm going to get a painting of George Floyd in my house. <laughs> Why not? You can't be... If I got that, people would be mad at me, right? Especially if it was used at my gun range room. Yes. I want to get a George Floyd kickboxing dummy. You know, like they have... Uh, you know those things that you throw legs at? How is Kobe's family okay with this disrespectful This portrayal? is awful. I really didn't even recognize that. I thought that was Michael Epps. <laughs> and now is Drake cursed to death? Yeah, because this so is Drake... Too- by the way, Drake is at the opposite end of the hallway just staring into the man's eyes. Okay? This looks more like uh, Kobe now than it did when he was alive. <laughs> if you get my drift. A lot of green. A lot of... Soil looking colors. Yeah, zombie Kobe. <laughs> Kobe Bryant. In the main part of my house, we got Drake and on look one it, side, on the wall there. Kobe on the other. There's Two like of my a biggest Lamborghini inspiration. Picture. Lamborghini right picture. I know. Oh, look at this piece of shit. I bet she charged him 300 bucks for that. Yes. I could get that at World Market for a dime. Um, imagine if you stand in the middle of this hallway, you have a good chance of exploding with the power of these two men's eyes. By the way, if you're half black like Drake, you need to start telling people you're white. There's no such thing. No half minority says that they're white, which is pretty racist. So like if you're half Mexican, half white, you're always walking around like Selena Gomez is Mexican. That's what she tells people. Oh, I'm Mexican. So no, you're white too. Like how come no half black person calls themselves white? They're ashamed. It's cooler to be black. It's cooler to be Mexican. You get more points. You're half, so you should be hated by all. (laughs) According to my calculations, black people should hate you and and white people should hate you. If you're half, that's not something to be proud of. (laughs) That means your family's fucked up. That's a dysfunctional family. That's not a family at all. Um, so, uh, I'm, I want that any half black person is a white person in disguise. They're more white than they are black for God's sakes. It's true. If you compare them to a palette, color palette. All right. That's him. Phase rug. Very good stuff. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad you guys allowed me. Now, what's really funny. Uh, I'll introduce you to, um, a new guy that I met online now, I'm going to go ahead and throw him in. Now, I know this is unkosher, but you've got psych substance, psychedelics. You've got. Really? No, I'm not going to do it. But uh, this is a new guy. I know, group, I know. He's but not, he that's has what his I said. Own group. This is Stephen Graham. And you must meet him. I hope you know him. So, you know how, like, back in the day, news channels would have a money guy? Like Mad Mike's money. Yeah, the guy but that's they, like, da, da, da. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the market is crashing and we got to. But they were all like in their mid to late 50s. Well, now YouTube has their own money douches, thanks to Gary Vee, but they're young. So I'm going to introduce you to this new kid who is a money man, but he's a. It's on his Graham Stefan. Yeah. I don't even know how to say it. It's his. okay. Um, Wait till you meet this guy. Yeah, he has two channels. And he has a channel, and he does videos called Millionaire Reacts. He claims he's a millionaire, and it's this greedy, cheap, jerky kid 
who thinks he's Tom Cruise and he reacts. Here, I'll show you what he does. Yes, you know him. This guy is a rat bastard. Wait till you meet him. <laughs> Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name oh! He's like if Ben Shapiro had a camera from 2006. Oh, he reminds me of someone else, but I can't put my finger on it yet. He's a mix between Ben Shapiro and a Tom Cruise lookalike. And he is the biggest douche on the planet. Now, he doesn't get too douchey in this, but he reveals that Faze Rugg's house was only 4.2. Cameron Malik just texted me and said, yes, I've hated him for a full you year need now. To f I'm telling you this guy. Look, OK, look at his room. So he has a rich office and he thinks he's so cool. He's got prints, too. Look at his prints. He's also got a T-Rex skull that's fake. And he's got this big light. This is all gaudy, sharper image, nonsense junk that faux rich creeps think is nice all right listen to this guy my name is graham and welcome to my show and i got a really exciting new announcement for everybody They're guess gonna love what him. check this out if you notice anything new here got a brand new uh, coffee creamer just recently it's like this almond coconut stuff he drinks uh iced coffee with cream out of these clear glasses to me iced coffee with cream in a clear glass looks like diarrhea <laughs> It's the grossest looking color ever. All right? It's Mumbai. Uh, I don't want that. And I hate the sound of ice and cream together. Cream should not be served chilled. I kind of like it. I know you do. But I use oat milk, so it's not cream. It's disgusting. And all these morons, if you don't drink your coffee black, get off caffeine. You're gay. <laughs> okay? It's not for you. Here we go. It's, it's supposed to be really healthy. It's like organic. So so now I'm going to be super healthy and yes. be drinking this instead. But we also got some other really good news today. Watch We're this We're going to be kid. watching this new video. Faze Rugg got a new $10 million house, apparently. And he's just revealed it on his channel. And uh, what's even more surprising is that, I mean, first of all, this was like... See, if you do a YouTube video like me and you just talk to the screen, you're a piece of shit asshole. You have to do it like Cody Ko, where you do jumps to your face if you don't do youtuber moves it's like they can't even recognize it as a video it's you know I what know. i mean you have to every youtuber must copy each other and do shitty zoom ins that you know blow out the the quality of the thing just so that youtubers don't because if it's not all the same they're not interested it's really fucking gay here number i think three or number four on trending on youtube so that's how i found it and uh he pretty much made this like a full feature length film. It's almost 25 minutes long, which is the equivalent of watching the Titanic here nope. on YouTube. No, no. But we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna watch this video and I'll give you my perspective of his new $10 million house, parentheses full. I could hit this kid 300 yards with a mini golf club. You understand? Tour as a real estate agent and real estate investor here in Los Angeles. I love real estate. I'm obsessed with anything real estate related, so I'm going to give this video a watch, and then I will let you know what I think of his uh, $10 million mansion. He's missing He's missing the term mansion tour. He just said full tour. Nuh-uh. For the algorithm, you want to say... Like, everyone loves this guy's reaction to phase it, but if I put mine up, they'd be like, who's this asshole? But he, like, does the same thing, but as long as you do it youtube -y, they love you mansion tour people search mansion tour for some reason but anyway first of all let's just go and give this video a like wow it already has 580,000 likes on this video unbelievable let's give this video yeah, a that like is unbelievable. and uh, see what this house is all about enjoy guys hey guys so really quick this video is supposed to be going up on so now he's in this but he's going to reveal here we just want to show you the part where he looks it up Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to verify this, guys. Give me one sec. My real estate agent in me. I'm going to tell you guys. Hold on. I'll tell you guys how legit this is. I wouldn't even rent an Airbnb from this little thing. Imagine buying a house from this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? I would say, I think a DMT elf crawled out from the crawl space. Where's the real estate agent? He'd say, oh, I'm here. Uh-uh. Goodbye. I treat real estate agents like pure hell. I do face check. You know, this is what I do when I'm selling a house. I call 50 real estate agents and I have them meet me at my house at the same time. And then I 
open a, a sliding chamber on my door that lets me see through, and I go, password. <laughs> or I say, next. You know, and I face check them. Real estate agent, you think you're going to get my money just being you? Uh-uh. You need to audition I like to sell my house. I a woman real estate agent, personally. I do, of course. Um, I hate these men. Real estate agents are so awkward and corny. Also, um, I will not take a black real estate agent. Sorry. Why? Because it just doesn't make any sense. Unless I was maybe trying to buy a Marcy's project. Or Gabrina Green. Um, I will not take an Indian real estate agent. That's crazy. My real Why? estate agent needs to be about 29, a woman. Real sharp. Not too hot. Definitely not ugly. My favorite real estate agent is that Asian chick from producer Michael's videos. No, that's awful. She's terrible. She's, She's going to blow. She's got a great them. personality. No, that's A great terrible. body. No. Nope. Terrible. So this kid definitely, if he showed up to my door, oh, I'll help you. Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I love real estate agents because you don't have to pay them and they're like, dot. they work for you and you're not responsible for anything. So it's like, you have an employee that you could just treat like shit, but everybody like bows to them as if they're in charge. Uh-uh. That's what you got it wrong. They work for you and you could have hundreds show up to your house. I, in fact, I'll have, uh, you know, 75 of them show up and they go, what's going on here? And then I come out with like a megaphone as if I'm uh, introducing the Hunger Games, you know, and I'm at a podium and I go, hearing, hearing. There's like feedback at first, but then I get it sorted and I'm like, you must sell my home, you know, and they got to do a whole Very funny. It's very funny to watch them do this to each other. And also, I like to lie to them. I also try to tell them that they've got a big score coming in. I call real estate agents. And I go, I'm looking for a $7 million home, and I'm really not picky. <laughs> they get all excited. They go out and buy a BMW thinking they got money coming. And then I go, I ain't got no fucking money. All right, watch this. Guys, like literally, he bought this house for $4,250,000. I am confirming that puffer. as a real estate agent in California where this home is located. How did he say he bought it for 10? Why would he say? Guys, I like if I Exposed. did that to you guys, if I, I paid 2.1 for my house, if I said I just bought a $5 million house, which is the equivalent of what he's saying, you guys would be angry at me. You guys would, would call me a liar. You guys would be chewing me out in videos in the comments. I could never live down for that. But how did, how is it, how did his house more than double in value in two months? How did he do that? Anyway. So it, it didn't. He's a liar. And all you phase rug supporters should be livid. Just lies to your face. And if he lies about that, what else is he lying about? So there it is. Phase rug. Thank you, Graham. You should be watching Graham. People ask, how do I watch all this? Well, I don't do anything else. Okay? So it's very easy. We Throughout in fact, your day, you should always have a guy talking yeah, to you. We, in fact, run out of content. You know, we'll be Sunday morning and there's no new uploads to YouTube. We get furious. Oh, by Saturday, there's nothing. Nobody we uploads get on the weekends. We get furious because these YouTubers, they do nothing. They'll put out a video once every two months and be like, sorry, guys, I've been really busy with my depression and Adderall. And then everyone's like, we need to give you more money. Doesn't make a lick of sense.